Alright then, everyone, so hello and welcome back to what will be a very special episode of Mega Man X Hard Type by Hard Hunt because we are going to be taking on the last of the Mavericks here. So, I guess let's just get started. So, Boomer Quanger, I've been putting off this guy until last because I. Well, obviously, the, he is insane um, or intense or whatever Hard Hunt wrote down in the spec as the highest level of difficulty. But even beyond that, I found his attack pattern seemingly almost random before, it was like I hadn't figured it out, and I just felt like I was tanking a lot more hits than usual against the guy instead of dodging him, even vanilla, so... Not expecting this to go super well, but... Ow. Well, it's certainly not gonna go super well if I start jumping into spikes right away. Oh, hey, I could probably use my ice shot here. Unless I got something more interesting. I've got the homing torpedo now, but I should probably save that for something more useful considering I'll probably get away with shotgun ice here. Oh. Just gotta shoot it at the very top, and that only took two. I, I swear those guys always took three before, but maybe I hit him with two blasts at one point. I don't know. Alright. Doesn't seem like he can hit me there. Maybe I could jump up in his face and hit him with a storm tornado. Well, that worked. <laughs> oh, whoops. That failed. Okay, that's not gonna work again, so I suppose it's probably time to s check out and see how these things roll. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. Oh, that's not working. Hmm. What do I do about you? Well, that worked. Nice. Storm Tornado Rex. Awesome weapon. Alright. Don't know what to do? Just Storm Tornado. Sounds like a bad ad for... Oh, wow. Shoot. I wasn't thinking about that. Those things do a lot of damage, too. Oh, that didn't give me anything. Oh, those are spikes. Whoopsie. Spikes. Really. Jump in the gun. Stop. <laughs> okay, that's done. Now it makes me wonder: Can I hit him at a good enough angle to? Yeah, I can. I didn't necessarily need to use my homing tornado there, but I figured it was worth the knowledge for later. Besides, it saves me my storm tornado ammo. I actually don't need that this time. Would have been useful last time, game. Just saying. All right. So it seems like uh, when I go, oh. Okay, I do have a small bit of ledge. Jump. Okay, got it. Uh, gotta wait for this guy. Die. Okay. Oh man, you come back. I'm trying to think here. Alright. I'll go over to the other side. You're out of the way. I can't get up here. Ow. Jerk. Ow. Jerk. Ow! No! <laughs> oh, that was bad timing. I almost made it to that ladder. I mean, not that that ladder held any special significance, probably, but... If I actually try to time that instead of uh, just jumping willy-nilly into the corner, it works out a lot better. Die in a hole. Pull up my homing tornado like I did last time. As much as I know I'm going to be using Storm Tornado next, I tend to hold the button habitually, so I don't want to waste my uh, Storm Tornado ammo there by just holding the button like a nincompoop. Oh, shoot. That almost got me killed. Well, uh, I didn't kill him somehow. Could have sworn that was exactly how I attacked the other ones, but... Whoopsie. That didn't work out so well. Those guys don't do a lot of damage. No! Ugh, got it that time. Well, forget it. Storm Tornado in your face. Ooh, I got all my ammo back. 
Spin again. Spin the wheel again. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Made it over the spikes. You're dying the same way your buddies did. That will probably... If I had the metal blades, which is ironically the one weapon I don't have, I could have gotten that, I think, because I think they work like a boomerang to grab power-ups, which I didn't realize uh, any time in the original game where it would have been helpful, but oh gosh, the elevator, and spikes do so much more damage in this game, that's, uh, this is gonna suck. Alright. Well, at least it's not a uh, Super Mario Bros. X engine, or it would be even worse. Oh man, it's going even faster. Alright, stay here. Stodge to the left. <laughs> oh man, it slowed down. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't kill me now, please. Don't kill me now. Oh man. Checkpoint? I think that's probably a checkpoint. Uh, can I even go back? Nope. It cut me off. See you later, elevator. I didn't like you anyway. I think our friendship was over, even if he didn't do that. Well, uh, I guess it's time to put that checkpoint thing to the test. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty much the most obvious checkpoint spot in the game, but... So I can't feel too proud of myself for figuring that out. Ow. Uh, well, that didn't suck too much, I guess. That thing didn't do much damage at all. Which is actually kind of surprising to me. Alright, now he's dead. Just do that. Ow. Aw, oh, dang it, that guy's gonna respawn now. And now so's the turret. What a pain. Whatever. Let's just kill him in two. I think I'm gonna homing missile your face. Why not, right? Oh, I'm probably gonna get hit by the spikes. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, wow. Well, now I know why not. He's just gonna come back. Doesn't really help me a whole lot. Unless I pull some ninja skills. Nope, not today, buddy. Ow. Well, today for you, buddy. Today you can hit me in the face. I give you my blessing. Alright, more homing tornadoes. I mean, what? <laughs> if this is a tornado, then I'm a fish. Oh, crud. <laughs> Did not keep a close enough eye on my own character. Seriously, I think he's uh, probably over the blue moniker nickname by now, considering half the time he's uh, orange, pink, blue, puke colored orange. I don't know. <laughs> I guess brown might be a better color for puke, but that's probably not the best discussion, especially if you happen to be eating something right now. Just grab the popcorn for this, and now suddenly, nope, we're talking about puke. Have fun that popcorn. I didn't even need to kill you. That. Ah. Ow. I needed to kill you, but uh, I didn't. Good work, me. Take that, scrub. Uh, okay, that works. I just kind of stood on the platform, even though I didn't have any room to stand there, but, you know, I'll take it. Ow. That hurt. Uh, well, it's probably not the intended strategy. Whoa, almost just killed myself there. Oh crud. Well, now I'm back down here again, and I have to fight... Apparently not all the turrets. Uh, let's see if I can kill you this time without messing myself up. There we go. Alright, now this one I don't have to worry about. Okay, getting close. Alright. I, uh, what? Oh, <laughs> we're going this way. Just like, no nope, bait and switch. Normally you go right in video games, but, oh, uh, yeah. Of course you would have done something to make this more painful. This was stupidly easy before. Oh man, I am very glad I have the homing tornado now. Hey, that jump looks scary, even if that thing was dead already. I could also try the sea sting. Yep, that worked. <laughs> Never mind about that homing tornado comment. I never said that. I'm saying it now, though. Or I could try e-spark. I'm mostly just curious to see if this would work. This thing that 
This thing consumes ammo very slowly, so it barely even matters. I could try shotgun ice too. Just in case there's something somewhere up there where I actually really, really need the homing tornado ammo. Those spikes are very, very nasty. Ah, you go away. Okay. That's... If I mess this up... Oh, crud. I'll just fall down two feet. Disaster struck! No. You're annoying. Whatever. Give me a chance to charge this back up and mess it up again. Oh, apparently not. Nice. Uh, is this a secret, or is it... Oh, I am... I'm gonna have to jump... Oh, you, you're a douche. I'm gonna fall off and have to redo it all again, aren't I? No! <laughs> yep, I knew it. Well, now what? Okay, I can't wall cling to that. Alright, moment of truth again. No, dang it. going backward. Okay. Wow, uh, that wasn't nearly as tight as I thought it would be, which is why I was going way too early. I made that with flying colors, so I, I'll, I'll have to, if I ever do that again in the future for some reason, I'll have to keep that in mind, or if, I guess for whoever of you wants to play this, keep that in mind. You don't need to worry too hardcore about that. Okay, that was close. I almost just killed myself after all that. Of course, if I died, it would almost just be better because I could have edited out a whole bunch of that, but... Details, details. See you later. Oh, now, now that I think about it, how do I get up there? Glad that you made, managed to make those new enemies interesting somehow. Okay, that's, uh, wow. I can't jump up that high. Hmm, maybe I'm overthinking this. Or I could try getting on that little tiny bit of... Well, nope. Ow, shoot. Best attempt ever. Puts my last one to shame. How did the spikes not do any damage there? Ow, wait, I forgot you respawned. Ah. Oh. My dash jump killed me there. Couple wrong moves with those spikes and everything's kaput really quickly. Particularly here. Still don't really know how to get through here. Oh, well, that missed. I'm not gonna bother messing around, I'll just homing tornado it in the face. Alright, now how do I do this? problem is, if I go from the left, it's always either too far over to the right, as far as I've seen. Either that, or the platform is too far over to the left, and I can get onto it, but then I just fall off. Definitely can't make it on from underneath. If I go from the right, that's one sick jump trying to hang on that tiny bit of wall. If left is possible, it's probably easier. But, since it's probably not possible, I mean, Sherlock Holmes' famous quote doesn't quite apply here, but... Alright, let's uh, homing missile a whole bunch of things. I'm probably towards the top. By a whole bunch of things, I don't mean the things over there, please. Oh, dang it, I didn't realize that platform moved all the way over. So I just stood on it and well straightened my doom there. Oh, 
I don't think the spikes. I can just go straight from the platform to the ladder without actually getting onto the platform, as long as I shoot that thing first. That guy gets me every time. And let's be honest, I don't even put that much effort to avoiding him. Same deal with the guy after him, but... I blame my controller for any and all deaths. Clearly I couldn't be the one making a mistake. Just pointing that out for you people who don't realize that my controller is the thing that causes all my problems. I don't know, I think I've had like one legitimate death in here, I'd say. The, the entire game, really. Too bad none of these enemies drop HP powers. But it is kind of the final level, so I'm gonna kind of put my pedal to the metal here. Probably gonna die this time. Considering. I've only got like a tiny bit of HP. Not that having a gigantic amount of HP helps with the spikes all that much. Yeah. Just holding right there doesn't, and not dashing doesn't help a lot, but I don't need the dash to make it there, which means I probably shouldn't use it. That would've been nice, but it just went all the way down there. Alright, here's the hard part. Ugh. Maybe dashing would be easier, giving more horizontal movement. Um, almost at a moment of Oops, oh crud. Didn't have my dash going there. Actually, on second thought, I could shoot Chuck a nice off the other wall, why am I being a dummy? Only this one, like all the earlier Mega Man Square. I can actually get a jumping power up of some kind or another. Maybe you can jump off of it when it's already going left. It feels like no matter where, which way I try, it's a bit of a risk. Which is the annoying thing about this. For that matter, I'm gonna run out of ammo if I miss this up enough times. Timing didn't work out there at all. I almost just spit the dust there, but I'm gonna try it the other way again. Both ways suck, but... <laughs> Ow. Oh, wow, 1 HP. This is not going anywhere. Wonderful. Out of that ammo. I'll just kill you with the... Oh, out of that too. Uh... Can I get hit with anything else? If I hit with anything else, I mean do it easily. I guess I could do just the Mega Bluster by doing that. Man, I barely got any height out of that. Even when I do land on the wall. Oh. Ah, no. That guy's still alive. So here's the issue. Is that guy gonna bounce me off too much? Am I gonna get hit my head on the platform above? Now it's not helpful, it's just a pain. Yeah. Damage boosting doesn't help if I'm just ramming it. That jump is just so hard though, I don't even I'm not even sure which is the best way to go about it. I made it once, but it feels like a miracle that that happened at all. Makes, it's just too bad that everything went sour up above, or I could have had it that attempt. Didn't have enough HP left, I don't think. I'm surprised that guy didn't respawn. Oh, crud. 
Oh, there goes this run, probably. I could always use my E-Tank, but... And I'd, prob I'd probably just lose anyway and then have to spend time getting it back. Might as well save it for a good run on the boss or something. I've, co I've completely forgotten about it up until now. Not good at all. If I had a lot of HP, I could just damage boost off the spikes too, but that would be a sucky sacrifice to make. There we go. Okay, I can make that from the left. But I'm so close to death. Okay. That platform is annoying, because now it's an obstacle. I'm sure Hardhunt planned it out that way. Sadistic jerk. That he is. Climb! Made it! Alright. Why is there two doors there? Twice the door, twice the boss? Maybe he's got an inferiority complex? I don't know, but we made it! 35 minutes in and... Alright, uh... My odds of defeating the boss with this amount of HP are probably about... The odds of, uh, me winning the... Lottery and having the Toronto Weeps win the Stanley Cup on the same day. Sheesh. <laughs> and there's no floor. Yippee. And the ceiling... The doors seem really weird around here. You're a lot taller than I remember, too. Oh, that sucked. Alright, uh, plan one, stand there while the boss attacks. Didn't pan out. Very unfortunate. Okay, let's try plan number two, Storm Tornado. Storm Tornado that works so great in the stages, but is so utterly useless in all the boss fights so far. Let's see if it can somehow randomly redeem itself. Didn't expect so. And, uh, homing tornado? Well, uh, that does damage. It seems to hit him when he's flashing, too. Uh, he just kind of ran in my face there. Oh, wow, that that is very effective, <laughs> I gotta say. I am way too slow. Oh yeah, the one time I don't shoot. Well, that doesn't work at all. Let's see, our shield can fall off the platform. It goes outside the stage. 
now. Whoa, that, that, this boss is, uh, I shouldn't have been scared of him, he's actually not gonna be all that tricky. That platform, for once hard on stage design, is actually seeming to make the boss fight easier. <laughs> no spikes randomly killing me, it's just a platform that allows me to dodge his attacks. <laughs> that is a really weird surprise, but, you know. Alright, get one free one of those, and now homing missiles. Homing tornadoes, sheesh. So much damage for free. And our shield helps as well, uh, to some extent. Oh hey, I can stand at the side like this. Um, let's just start shooting. Shoot him in the face! Surprised him, I'll just. Oh wow. That is weirdly effective. I am really not sure anymore whether those the sides of the stage are supposed to be like that, but... But yeah, thanks for actually making a really kind boss stage, <laughs> I guess. Uh, okay, so... I guess I was really scared of the wrong one. Uh, the two I was scared of, this one and Spark Mandrill, both ended up being far easier than expected. Whereas, just because I used the right weapon, I mean, I used Homing Tornado in the vanilla, but, but I don't remember it being so effective. Maybe it was because of, oh yeah, but be, I know why it wasn't as effective. I didn't have the ammo for it. Because I already used like three quarters of the ammo for it already, and then it was gone. So I only was using like a quarter of the ammo for the boss fight. Alright. Uh, whoa, no. I, something. I should probably make a save state. You have a location on Sigma's Fortress. Meet you back here when you're ready to take him out. Yes, uh. I'll be ready to take him out. Uh, let's just check how many deaths on my death counter. See how I'm doing in that front. Of course, I'm not going to go into the level yet. I have tons of stuff to do. Let's split up. Yeah, that, that, that'll help a lot. I'll draw the attention of the main force so you can slip in unnoticed. So you can slip unnoticed? Uh, are, you, are you just worried about me being embarrassed when I start tripping over myself? Wow, uh... I didn't realize you thought so, had such a low opinion of me, man. <laughs> okay, death counter. 350. Yep, that's a lot. <laughs> See you next time.